Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today I want to discuss China's unboxing numbers for capsules from Rio, Antwerp and Stockholm. Now the reason we have that data is thanks to the requirement for Valve to show unboxings in a live feed for the Chinese government. Thanks to Ypsilon on Discord for collecting all this data and pulling it into a readable format. Um, I will link his, dis uh, his Reddit uh, post down below. Now percentages here are given as a percentage of total unboxings of capsules and PPM means just how many of that capsule are opened per 1 million total capsules opened just to visualize it a bit better. So let's first talk about the past few months. Now in October Rio was released um, since it was not yet on sale it did not affect Antwerp unboxing numbers much as you can see the Antwerp unboxing numbers mostly increased. After Rio went into sale, this wrecked Antwerp unboxings quite a bit since, well, Rio capsules were just so much cheaper, right? Now, the Rio sale ended on the 22nd of March, meaning March is the first full month of unboxing without the cheaper alternatives available in the in-game store. Now, we can immediately see a recovery in the unboxing percentages for Antwerp and Stockholm, with most Antwerp capsules opening three to five times more percentage-based. Now, the same can be seen for Stockholm, albeit the overall numbers are much lower. A special outstander here is the Challenger Autograph Capsule. It's, it's opened a lot more. Um, I think it's likely due to people hunting the extremely expensive Monacy Gold. The capsule itself is not more expensive, so do whatever information what you want. Now, what do these numbers mean for the future of the, these capsules? Well, I think with Rio, it, it's too early to say anything yet. But I personally doubt they will go much higher in the price for the foreseeable future with their closeness to Antwerp in price now uh, and the coming of the Paris Major. Now for Stockholm and Antwerp, these numbers I think are very promising because even within the first month after the sale, um, their demand spiked back up right away. So this is good because the more capsules are consumed, um, this drives their long-term growth since the supply becomes less so that's good news since they're still opening them out to these elevated prices which i think we will see going on and on and on now i think the bad news is is the paris majors around the corner we have about three to five of the four weeks until their stickers are announced now depending on how paris looks antwerp will probably either spike or dip right after this announcement personally i think the paris stickers won't be borderless and we see a small spike but even then, it is a CSGO market, so anything can happen, honestly. <laughs> like, most people just do whatever. Now, what we do now, what we do know, is almost guaranteed, is a decrease in Antwerp demand when the Paris capsules in FT Blue go on sale. Because that just makes sense. Even with the god-awful Rio stickers, demand for the other capsules went down because they're just that cheap. Now, demand recovery after the major is very likely, as we see right now as well. But I think that depends on what the valve uh, releases between the Paris and Copenhagen major in terms of content, so a possible operation could be as well. Plus, I think it depends on how popular the Paris stickers will be. I mean, Rio was a kind of a bad sticker, right? So if Paris is just a little bit better, I think Antwerp and Stockholm will have a harder time recovering for it. But since there's a year in between majors, I think they will be likely to do it. Um, Overall, I would say these numbers are promising for long-term Antwerp and Stockholm holders since the more supply is eaten now, the better their investments will perform long-term. For short-term flippers, I guess the numbers are good as well, but the future is just overall less positive because of the proximity to Paris and a possible operation coming after. Not right after, but definitely in the next year or so. So that's all I have today for you, but tell me down below what's your interpretation of these numbers, and I will see you in the next.